nerd soul lay ill kid at one y'all still holding down bringing that street geek and nerd soul like comment subscribe hit the bell let's go it's anime it's time we got blurdies in the house everybody praise rejoice go on and give that money the kind that folds of course but i'm gonna give it off to uh, the <laughs> man of the hour tower of power uh, they call him uh, the dubbed one mark dub what's up Man, I love that intro. I I will be that tower of of power. <laughs> um, it, it, it's Mark Dub, part man, half amazing, spicy like that Creole, not that Cajun. What's good, people? Man, we up in here chilling, having a good time. But it's not just Dub. We got that man Coop. Uh, what's up, man? How you doing? What's up, y'all? Y'all be able to hear this on www.blurdish.com. Uh, we're gonna talk some anime. Probably the last anime of the year. We shall see. Um, we're going to catch up on some series that we're watching for still the fall, not the winter. Fall is I don't know how many weeks it's got next time or we'll put the comment put it in the comments and see how long we got to go. But we're getting close on some of the fall stuff, y'all. Man, it's time is just pressing forward. Just pressing forward. But you know what? Uh, before we, before I throw it to either Cooper Dell, I want to talk about this show because we missed it last week. Because somebody, somebody, you know, they was they was trying to hate on, hate on your boy. They didn't, they didn't want the one with the cool haircut and the card in his head to shine. So I'm gonna go on and throw it over to Coop. All right, man. What what's up on that undead unluck, man? He wants to start off with high level. You know what? Because um, we got two episodes that you had to catch up on. Well, basically, you know, we're learning more and more about this insane world that uh, it's kind of bizarre. Like uh, the world did not have, have um, the galaxy. So <laughs> shout out to Gamma Ray. She kind of mentioned about when she said a couple episodes ago about the stars. Like, she's like, what are these things? And we was like, that's kind of peculiar. You know, you're looking at the night sky. It was kind of weird. Stars, yeah. Like, now so we see how powerful apocalypse is or whatever's going on with apocalypse and who's ever on the other side i guess their very variation of god and whatever's going on with this world when you don't complete a mission it is not good for you it is bad it is terrible um that's where the i don't know if that's where all the umas come from but the umas are the conditions the beasts the problems and they made galaxy. <laughs> well, I don't even think that's something you can get rid of. It is a complete punishment. But I did see the justice, unjustice. Um, yeah, Juiz is a leader. That is a leader. That is an unfazable leader. She's gonna do what she gotta do. You know, sometimes you make fun of those archetypes, but sometimes you do need those archetypes of a guy of a person man woman whatever that's just into it i must lead you gotta follow so that way we gotta get this world together so i like the conditions that okay galaxy i wasn't even thinking like what's galaxy gonna be and it's literally like oh it shows you like oh well this world they think they've been born for so many long ago but in their mind and everybody else's mind the galaxy has existed they did the big bang show that and it did so the day of the galaxy be created aliens of eight and they they not only created that but was like oh by the way uh you have to deal with an invasion yeah like that's pretty terrible like that is um that's if this is how penalties work then you don't know what you're gonna get so that's like saying if somebody was to create air i don't know then oh the concept of a tornado might happen you know what i'm saying it's something like that yeah and the, all right also one thing i don't like about this story with the whole condition of course we get brought in when they only got like one left they're like you know they were like hey there's a hundred slots or there's 101 slots and we're on slot 99 it's like bro come on look how, so how many times y'all gonna mess up I mean, he she'd have told you. You can only mess up a one on one times. Yeah, but I'm, it, I'm like, y'all couldn't have did. Like, y'all gonna bring us in all the way at the end? My thing. Y'all done met, y'all, y'all, why y'all ain't bring us in earlier? Well, Andy, they captured Andy. And they oh, true, remember Andy, she yeah. thought to, they wanted to kill him 
or get him out the way until unluck was found she's like unluck is so unruly but now they're like you know what we're desperate we need to learn how to control unluck because we need it stronger and minus some conditions but you know how that works um still it is she's walking that weapon master weapon of mass destruction that has to get stronger um because it's just it's bad out there now we really see how terrible the world is and um and the penalties well i guess it was either a penalty or a reward i feel shin it this is a little quick thing aside i feel shin unification i ain't like it i don't know why that's supposed to be a reward but all language is just one is just english like, what is that i mean like, i shit. guess that helps people communicate better and i mean everybody wants to be you know understood so i mean i guess that's okay but i don't but, see what that does for us me us meaning the the, the team i mean I mean, I, I guess that's good for us. I don't see how we I guess like, really just, like, gain from that. It's probably one of those Japanese things where it's like, okay, yeah, we traveling all over the world, so don't worry about why they can't. Why, why uh, they can't. Good just point. to throw that in there real quick, but yeah, that just caught, it just threw me off. Like, you know, we globe trotting. Don't don't ask why we don't speak, you know, Italian or French or exactly you know, Spanish or it's like a it's Portuguese. it's almost like a Deus Ex Machina, like a. A, yeah. a, a a device, a plot device. But I appreciate them when Shen called up his friend, mentor, or whatever she is to him, and he starts speaking Chinese. And, you know, poor Shen's like, dang. Like, it's almost without him saying it, like, my culture just kind of got erased. <laughs> you know, like, and she didn't even know, but it's like, that's kind of just, I just didn't like, that just, that kind of ticked me off for a split second. Nothing at the anime, but I was just like, in the world, that's terrible. Yeah. Like, this this world sucks. <laughs> like, even small stuff like that. Because, I mean, I would assume the culture stuff stays, just not the language, I guess. But I, I mean, feel they like didn't really get super into it, but still. I know that, and we'll never know. They're not going to go deep into that, Donna. But it's just, you know, they in their Chinese garb, and they in a whole different garb from, like, say, the Japanese people or the people of the world. But it's like, he knows, he's like... The only person and the people at this table know that there was a language called blah 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 or whatever, and it no longer it's a dead language just like that. So, like Apocalypse can literally, I mean, of course his name is Apocalypse, but just that he has this unfreakishly control uncontrollable power to do this, I'm like kind of worried now. <laughs> it's like okay, this is. Well, I mean, show the you plan is galaxy. the plan is for them to it, somehow get past apocalypse and kill whoever's on the other side toying with the team so i just i'm, I'm I mean, like I'm, because i, was I can't understand being like we got to kill whoever is you know like just puppeteering our lives but if y'all can't even get rid of this book like uh, like this book is a problem you know yeah. like this this book gotta go like i'm like that like, you can't even stop the book like y'all can't even tell the book no so i mean you there's no telling it no you have to get to the other you got to get past what it's telling you to do if you, if you tell don't. if you tell the book no like it is going to generate a new rule that is going to mess the world up <laughs> and i wonder if i wonder if apocalypse knows that they're trying to kill you know it and whoever's on the other Bruh, side of the book they say it in front of their face apocalypse don't believe they can do it that's how powerful uh, he is. Douglas be laughing. He think it's a game. It's funny to it's funny to him. Dang, man. Bro, think like, about like it. y'all. Let's like, like Apocalypse reminds me Leonard Fournette. It they mic'd him up one game, and every time he got hit, he giggled. Like didn't matter how hard he got hit, like he got stuck, and like you could hear him giggling. Like something is wrong with this man. Like, think about it. They are the best of the best, and they still are in overtime losing. Like Apocalypse, though, is just like, oh, it's a matter of time. Have fun, knock yourself out, losers. Because clearly, if he's gonna know, bring on Ragnarok, I wonder what that. Well, I guess we'll see. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably something that they've got planned for like probably season three or something like that. 
but yeah, maybe a way to know. slip in and out of it or just be stuck in a different realm or something yeah but I'm sure Victor is probably a large part of that plan because Justice you know what I'm saying or Juiz she seems like oh well you know we just added you to the team because you know what I mean you know the other person died and I figured maybe we could use you it's like nah you a little too smart for that I think you been wanted her on the team, but was trying to like use that as a smoke screen. Like, oh, well, you know, I guess we had to take because somebody died. I believe her at a word. I think she didn't know how dead, dangerous unlook was. And she kind of was clear about it. like, but you're a power that I need to use. And like, so we're going to use you. She was Soon like, up. we got we to bump up your <laughs> skills, though. We got we to gotta bump your skills up. So I don't think she was lying. I think she got to the point. And I, wonder if she can, I wonder if she could like... Or wonder how she's planning to, I guess, hone her skills or like get them better or whatever. But I guess we'll see that maybe in the future. But we did also get to see, you know, I, I saw Andy, and I, I hate to quote, uh, hate to quote a prophet if I would, but Andy said, "We fly high, no lie, you know this. Foreign rides outside, it's like showbiz. Um, if you don't know, now you know." He's balling. That's right. Homie had the white coat on. Whenever you have a white coat on, you know you fly. That's all I'm saying. If you a brother out there, if you wearing a white coat, it's all good right now. I mean, you know, I wore it for my prom. Did I wear it for both proms? Yo, oh, I had I had the white coat for my prom, so I'm just keep I had the whole you know, white brother, tux. Brother was looking brother was like smooth. Koopa Lito. <laughs> oh wow! I wasn't saucing, but I was doing some. I don't know. Yo, Coop was out there living. You know what I'm saying? Had the white coat on. Look, Andy came through. And he even, he even had a little fashion sense for your girl, Fuko. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he had some fashion sense for her. He ain't lived all this time and didn't watch an episode of, you know, a, a episode of like Lifestyles of Rich and Famous or turn on the E channel or something. He knew what to do. I mean, he, he had some dresses for and they and they all look nice now. Some of them was a little, little much. Cause I was like, before look, I get I, to that, you know what I'm saying? I just want to just state again how freakishly I still don't understand Juwee's power. I don't know what injustice is. Me neither. It's <laughs> it just they're, they're it, it, staying in the, the ultra vague territory on that one. Like she undid a whole fleet of people by looking at it and made old boy cry. Oh, yeah, he, he cried like, for real. Like, no, you killed all the babies. You about to kill all of us? Yeah, so, no, go and tell everybody leave Earth alone. Hey, you saw how they skewed it? He's like, you, you, you. And yep. they're like, and they never came back to Earth. So convenient. So dope, though. These powers are broken. <laughs> These powers are broken already. Yeah, because like. they, they set it up like this is going to be some, you know, knockdown, drag out fight. And the animators were like, nope, we're going to take this time to show how powerful she is. And be a little bit funny so that we don't have to animate a fight scene. I mean, why animate it when she's this powerful and it just and and, and then she did just give us Victor versus Juwe, so and she did say I I'm the trick with her is I think she's like more of a what you call it, a uh plot device or exp explanatory or explanationary advice device. She's like exposition. Hey, take a look. Exposition. Cause she's like this is what happens when you screw up. But luckily I'm here. So kapow. Everybody's dead. But yeah, <laughs> back to Fuko. I just had to like really break that down in my mind. Like, I'm afraid of Ju of of, of Juiz. She just she's nice, but don't play with her. Like even if she undoing even her people power, with a she look. was nice with the sword. Like yeah, she, she was real nice sword. with the sword. Mm -hmm. And she even need to use it. Like she, like you do not want her to go full cyclops on you. <laughs> like she at least that helmet. <laughs> she yeah, sold the she took the helmet off, man. But honestly, that helmet is kind of dope. I ain't going front. Like even like when it like opens up, like I'm like, yo, that helmet is sweet. She's like the Phoenix Force out here. She or out, something. Yeah, she out there like the Phoenix Force. She got the Giver helmet or something. Like she out here looking cool with that. The, the Giver <laughs> helmet, yeah. Yo, oh, shout out to the Giver. All right, if you haven't, all right, quick randomness if you haven't seen the guyver i'm not talking about no anime i'm talking about this this live action movie right all right now before i get started it, it's a it's it was made back in the day 
I but the Giver is a classic. Just trust me, it's a classic. Classic like, Super Sentai. Yeah, it's it's classic. It's live action. It's, I mean, so it is definitely of its time, but it's cool, man. It's look, it's what we had, man. It's all we had. So like, just watch it and just hey, know I, that. I remember that's when what it came had. out, man. I loved it when I was younger, man. It was that, dope. And the old Ultraman, live action Ultraman. It oh, was it was great. Kind of a bloody good time. Great. Kind of, kind of bloody. They play if you get a edited version. Maybe not for your small kids. You know, watch it with Nah, nah. <laughs> it might be some nightmare do inducing stuff. <laughs> oh. But um, any any other thoughts on Undead Unluck? Because then I'll just get. I want to just hear what else you've been watching. But I know I want to make sure Undead. We gave him some love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it wasn't much in the episode after that. You know, you, you say it's like Fuko's training day, where he's like, you know, she's like, you know, like the the, the country girl who ain't been nowhere, but she ain't mm-hmm. been socialized for a moment. You know, um, you know, and I don't mean like just because you're in the south, because I hate when people are like, oh, you live below the Misty's lives. No, I mean in the woods, ain't been nowhere. But yeah. uh, you know, she just like, oh, there's so many celebrities and all this. And I love what Andy said. It was funny. I love Foucault's sweetness where she's like, look, you know, I know they had to do kind of the the trash moment, but, you know, I get it. Andy's rich. He can get anything for her. And, you know, Foucault, we know that she's our little dress-up doll for all of this that's going on. But I do comedy. like that she called but, him out. She was like, why you, why you uh, picking all these outfits? Because they did have dresses that were, like, more skin covering. And homie was like, we need man, maximum he had us. surface area. He was, <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. Like, we need maximum surface. I'm like, come on, Andy. I mean, like, he's not on. wrong, but don't be slick. But at the same time, maximum surface area can cause the whole building to crumble. And she's still, you know, you got to be careful with that one. Yeah, because it's like, what, what I, you want to do is, like, maybe, like, like touching with your pinky real quick. So maybe they just have, like, a heart but, attack and still you bring up down the whole ship. I will give Andy this. Considering how broken this world is, and now that thanks to... Oh yeah, like thanks to language. Yeah, back to the language. Like they know what Umas are. Everybody has that knowledge more of what Umas are, and they share the knowledge. So language is very important. Totally forgot that one. Um, so because he kind of mentioned it, he's like, "Oh, by the way," he's like, "Fuko, I don't care if you kill these people because they're out here kidnapping and trafficking yep. people. So you'll probably be doing us a favor if you kill a few of them." Like he ain't wrong. He's out of line, but he's not wrong. I mean, you know? look, I'm gonna no, keep that, it real. That, that is I'd kind of like, terrible. Yeah, I'd like, be like, I mean, that that like she ain't got no focus. She she probably gonna kill a lot of people who ain't out there, uh, yeah, she, like land pirates and stuff. Like she can't control it finite yet, so I understand why she she's just getting used to being around people. You know, let her get that together. But I kind of get what Andy's saying. Like you know, if they all dirty. Yeah, I'm gonna live, cares? you know. I'm yeah, gonna live, I'm you know. Right. Kill them all. He like, hey, <laughs> I'll never let him touch you. You know what I'm saying? But he did say he was like, "Look, hey, we going to this event. You need to get attention. We need you to bring them girls out, all right? With uh, a better sales pitch than the Girl Scouts." So I'm just saying. But like, <laughs> to be fair, I need Eddie to quit trying to just out of. Now this is more so speaking to the creators. I would like to. I know they gotta have the random you know trash joke in there but it's so random like you know much as i love fire force fire force used to get criticism for that too bruh, it just fire did. force bruh they be having but, them joints out for real so it's kind of like i get that's how her powers work we still need to let that flow more naturally because it's just like and it's like let me get some and they just start chasing i like all right andy we don't need to do that but the part afterwards where he starts to like i don't know who i am I don't really well, I mean, he said, he said, hey, I did I want to try to, you know, get killed again because like I did that didn't count. Victor got that hit. I want to get hit. Bruh, that don't come on now. But he did. <laughs> I mean, if you want to talk on, about now. that, Andy said, let's that take a me. long walk that, around that, the park after dark. You know, he also busted to a full old rapey mode of I'm gonna chase you down, give you some. So, but the joke, I know that was the joke, but I'm just saying the after was you know, much. man, they are so weird about about that that sort of thing, man. I I do hate the way they they play that way too too close to the cuff, man. Yeah, they just and I'm with, I actually do prefer the more 
like the the more softer side of Andy. But I think what they're trying, I, I think what they're trying to do, trying to set up, but they don't have the real subtlety to do because they they move this show along kind of fast. Yeah, it was a nuance. He does he does these kind of overt acts to hide the fact that he's actually more of an emotional romantic type guy. Yeah, he is because he don't know. Who but he is. they he, aren't really expressing that well in the show. They pin don't know. They pin was out of line in that mm. brief moment because it could have just been a walk and he could have like said some, you know, some lewd stuff instead of be like, all right, let's do like, huh? Like, all right, I get it. I know anime is out there different. So, like sometimes they go too hard with it. That man. one, I just have to. I have they to wanted call. their Zom one hundred moment. That I don't. I don't even want to put Zom into that. That just was like, all right, bro. Whoever's writing this, I need y'all to speed this part along, or make it. If you gotta make Andy lewd and crazy, make it flow more naturally. That broke the whole scene. Yeah, because I, I thought I thought we were gonna get something a little more tender. But we got it right after she blew him up. Like, yeah, we get it. We got to blow up our, you know, Andy's our destructible doll. And, you know, you got to play with him. And, like, he's a toy that just comes back. But then to get the point, he's like, man, I don't know who Victor I don't. And when he said, I don't know who Victor is, that was like, they keep throwing more curveballs in this. Like, he, I yeah, don't know. He's like, he could be the original. Run deep, man. He's like, this brother could be the original. And I'm just, like, I'm the fake. But either which way, I want to die. I want him tired of this. So it's like, okay. Like I said, the crazy thing is this show, even after the first few arcs and setting up who the characters are, because I know that I don't mind the setup in a season one because it's a lot of weird stuff that you got to do. But the show really has is just now starting. That's the crazy thing when you really think about it. The, pr- the real premise of what's about to happen is just now starting with the Umas and the world getting all this different stuff like so the negator also- hunters that we were introduced to like we get we're getting a little bit we're getting a little bit more now yeah and for some reason oh boy language didn't affect him he can still speak chinese yeah so it's like how how does he so he speak? must be something special that we just don't know yet i mean he's probably he's definitely one of the negators or the negator hunter he's definitely one with 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 an un something and I'm sure the girl has an un as well. Maybe the two are just the soldiers. Because he said maybe only two of them, but she's supposed to be a, a seer. You know. So I don't know if he know. Maybe he knows Shen or something. Maybe they go back since they both Chin- they both can speak Chinese. So, And it did not wipe him out. So I'm like, alright, he's definitely powerful. But he stopped. Either he did it or somebody did it. The fact that he can chop their heads off, but they couldn't move their arms... So is that unre- maybe he's unrepair? I don't know. Mm-hmm. But we we'll hey, hopefully the, the, get unrepair. The, the cat that soon. unrepair was the one that was with was that was that burn or unburn? I think it was unburn when he was he was tied up in the uh Yeah, in the, uh, and his stomach chair. was bleeding and he was like and and he was like you'll never it'll never heal as long as I'm here because he was unrepair. So it, we'll see how quick they can get them because they gotta they gotta fill up this next seat, man. I mean, they gotta hurry it up. I guess they want unrepair, but oh boy, yeah, who 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 chopped the necks? I feel like he ain't he ain't one wanting to join, so you gotta get rid of them. So we gonna see Andy. At least we know we gonna see Andy in action with that blade. Where are we gonna pull it out of? Because where's his blade at? Probably in his yeah. belly or something. I don't know. <laughs> We'll, we'll no find out. Or maybe he'll just steal a weapon from somebody who's there. Man, he gonna pull it out of his femur bone. It was in me the whole time. Ha <laughs> <laughs> like, ha. I found a explode. great place to hide it. Right here in my femur. <laughs> and then you oh, explode. Man. That's all I got on there. Look, I got more questions than I have answers. I'm like Kev on stage watching Attack on Titan with Undead. I just don't know. More and more hate coming. <laughs> Ain't nobody, <laughs> ain't nobody worrying about Kevon right now. <laughs> anyway, I I'm gonna throw it. To, I'm gonna throw it to Mark Dub. Mark Dub, what you been watching, man? What you been watching, man? man? That's, I mean, this, this we this is what I've been on. I've been on on. I've been on that young undead. 
They Martin, young oh. on love. Martin gave up mm. on his on the stuff he didn't suggested for next season. Next next time we only go let you do two, man. You, got, you just be like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> Yo, man. I mean, it got him hooked. It got him hooked, man. Got I, him I hooked. mean, I, I, he I like that. It got him hooked. He the high quality joints, man. He did pick up dead, so I mean, everybody that, picked up dead. When does Zom come back? Zom's supposed to be coming back like soon, right? I mean, it's coming back, but it's probably coming back. Do we care? Hi. Do we care that it's coming back? You should absolutely care, but I'm saying don't. Oh, care it's coming for back long. on Christmas, man. They done lost their mind, bro. I'm come saying on. don't care for too long, and I'm Mark. I ain't trying to be Mister Negative, but since I'm just gonna say this, this is one of those new. The people who haven't followed anime, this is a bad situation, and it's a bad time because the economy, whatever is going on worldwide and worker situation, we don't know when or if Zom is coming back after they finish up season one. This ain't supposed to happen where one show that's only 13 episodes kind of go into like from summer and it like almost into three seasons of delay. Like a three seasonal thing, like oh man, that's that's not good. That's not a good sign at all. So I guess I'm glad that they let them get it out to finish season one, and then we might be saying goodbye to Mr. Zom for a hot minute, because they got to get man. whoever's running that studio got to get it together. Like something is wrong. <laughs> like that ain't supposed to happen. Like, cause cause y'all remember I said like I read the arc. I know what happens. And where this arc ends, this was like supposed to. They were building up. The show was on a roll. It was hot. I don't know man, what the show, ratings were. Show was but, on another level, man. And they then basically kind of poo poo the 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 season finale. And then they're gonna drop it all three at once. It's gonna get lost in the shuffle of undead, like other what everybody was watching it. I don't know if it's going to hit the same way. If they would have let it run its course naturally, I mean, I, yeah, I can see it uh, kind of losing some of its steam because of the way they have it coming out. But at the same time, man, this is a really good show that people are people are anxiously waiting for. So I think it's gonna still hit. I think it's gonna hit, but I think like from in that time, just for what Netflix have done, even though it's on Netflix. There's a lot of competition. It's just like, I don't think it was big. Like, the people I think who love Zom, love Zom. I don't think it's, like, that big of a hit, maybe. I don't know how to judge it. Maybe I could find ratings. But it's not like, you know, your big shonen like Juju Kaisen or something. But I think it was getting that following or whatever, and then this hit. Like, I think more people was talking about it. It was growing in word of mouth, and then... Life, life, money, and weird production. Of whoever's over there, so I don't know, man. I wanted to come back. Like, listen, anybody who has any power over that, if you listen to the words come out of my mouth, please bring back a season two. Mm. But I don't have faith that that's gonna happen in an announcement. No badness. Like, I just, if I had to go off of what some usually happens in anime, like. Some shows have literally taken a 10 year break in between in the old days. You know what I'm saying? Like, so this ain't nothing new. It'd just be great if it could come back after a year, take a year break. If you gotta break up the episodes and give people a break, do it, y'all. But I think they said it might be a small, another small studio. Like how they do in Mapper. <laughs> you know, and like how Mapper's doing his own people. And, you know, they get into their own OG, uh, the original IP. So they really got them cats working. So high adaptation. And they want that original money too, man. But, uh, but yeah, I'm going to toss it to whatever else you're watching, Mark. If not, it's, uh, it could be C plus chap time. <laughs> All right, man. Let's go in, Let's go in and sw- flip it over to the C plus champ. C plus champ, also known as Berserk of Glad. Yo, it's <laughs> but uh, the OG. It actually, and <laughs> Bog is strange. It, it doesn't release when everybody when everybody else release on Saturday, Sunday. It releases like on Tuesday, Wednesday. 
so this so i am caught up completely and then the next time we review it it'll have a whole nother episode i think the season is getting close like i said to the wars i ain't gonna say the war but the plot to kill the princess i mean the princess lady roxy who is a knight who's on the battlefield who can fight um they were about to set some stuff up basically i don't know what ball he was just like well fate was out there chilling on the battlefield kind of stay hidden because he don't really team up with nobody like that because you know he's he, he's cursed running around and with, with some problems but they knew that he was gonna like save lady roxy or get in the way so they sent some slime monsters his way other stuff remember i said that there was a scrub on roxy's team that he was always getting beat up but he was not a scrub a, though but he's a knight though he's a knight he's a blonde mm. knight but he's always dis like he kind of disappeared he's like oh they got me but yet when they ended the last episode they had a blonde dude with a skull mask or a white skull mask look like fate uh you know like okay i wonder who this could be <laughs> so it turned out to be that scrub northern of course. is his name yeah they like the the worst well kept secret. It was funny. They was like, "Is that Lady Lust a disguise?" Like, it's clearly a dude, you idiot. It's blonde hair. Like, who is writing this part? But the action was good though. They actually kind of helped the action a little bit. Still a little stiff, but he, like he had to fight some slime monsters. Uh, he had to fight old boy. Old boy had a sword that shot lasers like a gun. Um, he was kind of giving it to um, to fate a little bit. Uh. <sighs> For some reason, he's like, "Yeah, we she got his, she's got to die so they can get this dragon on our side and all this other stuff." Basically, he had to. I think he whooped him a little bit, but he's still kind of delaying him. So it's just a lot going on. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it, but she, he, she, he did run to Lady Roxy's defense right at the end. He has this like magic shield, like they were really pinning her down. And they broke his mask, so she now knows that fate is uh, Mr. Corpse. Uh oh. So I think she's gonna be like, whatever. We gotta fight together. Mm, and then they still okay, gave a okay. shout out to um, shout out to, to 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 Sir Aaron. I think she's like, I saw your moves, and I know that you were trained by Sir Aaron. Are you the the Mr. Corpse that he talked about or whatever? So yeah, shout out to him for like, just keep your Aaron some love. Like you have been trained, so we know you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That's kind of where it all went. You just kind of, this is an anime that you kind of like got to see it to enjoy it. More, it's not super complicated right now, other than for some reason they got to kill her. I'm pretty sure it's uh one of the Varric, it's the head Varric is behind all of this with, with lust. And we're going to see where that goes. Um, more or so, more or less. So that's kind of where we at with Bog. Uh, the other episodes have been been pretty interesting. I, the guy who's ever doing the the voice work for the sword, A plus voice work on this C plus plot <laughs> and show, because he really slips it in there. He's like Andy without a mouth. He can be a little little crazy, um, because he he had a little Lulu thing when he saw lust. He was like, oh, <laughs> he was like, those are such and such. I'm like. A sword, bro. What are you going to do? But whatever, he was like, he was, he was like, Those are big. He's, like, he said, he said, let me let, look. We'll we'll figure that part out when we get to it. I just like when uh when she was when fate was dueling Lady Roxy because she was like going to put him in jail. Like you've been beating up too many people around town, so you got to chill out, bro. So she knocked the she knocked the sword out of his hand and he was yelling at, at uh fate. He was like, hey hey, hey. like because he was spinning that like, hey man. Get it together in so many words like catch me god dog it like, you got me out here spinning hey bruh pay attention so take i like care of me they got the precious so, cargo <laughs> take care so, of much, me. so much personality so it's like hey y'all if you go to cut corners how the know, sword got more personality than fate bro he got more personality than everybody combined so at least they got that right i just feel like it's just somebody like that like, I'm on I'm on ad lib and y'all just gonna let me roll. You know, I'll just make sure I try to stay, you know, not too out of pocket for the age range. <laughs> so but 
It's that you know, bog is bog, man. That's just kind of where it is. I I'm sticking with it, at least for this season. I see, don't. I'm glad. See, I'm glad you're sticking with it, man. You gonna like, say? See, you gonna keep letting me know what's going on? Like, I'm sticking with it. Like, you know, it's. I love. Again, I like fate. I want him to win. I want him to kill the barracks. I don't really care. The monsters are just stiff cardboard cutouts at this point. Um, somewhat and some of the background people when they fly across the room when they get hit <laughs> but uh I like Lady Roxy I like Fate I want him to kill Northern um get rid of that guy cause so it's fake he's like the He-Man faker like you go like I'm dressed in black and all this and you're gonna be me with a white garb and a blonde hair I will destroy mm. you boy <laughs> like Fate would have it he's like man Fate got pissed and gluttony start kicking in, like start raging out. He's like, man, get out of my way. As much as he could, but old boy just still hating from the side, shooting his gun and the slime monster. And they really tried to, like, the slime monster is supposed to burn you, melt your bones. So he did save her. And then that's how it ended. And he was just like, hey, what up? That's how it ended. <laughs> so, C plus champ. Got a lot to do. We got some people to kill. C plus champ. I, I, I hope <laughs> that's a great I hope name. He, I hope he kills them all, and that will make this show. I'll say this: this episode was skewing towards a B minus. Oh, you know that? Oh, it, it was a little okay. more flu- overall. It was a little more fluid. Like there are some parts that drop off, where the background is just blah. <laughs> and it got stiff, but it, it, overall, it was more fluid. They they try. I can you could tell that this is building to to whatever they tried to build. They wanted to convey it a little bit better, so I appreciate them for that. Because like I said, the episode before that, bro, people got hit and literally flew up and across the stage, across <laughs> the back <laughs> thing like a, a stick. So that's all I got for ball. So the animation uh-huh. ain't perfect, but. It's it's like honestly, it reminds me of a video game. Remember that the part of the PS2 era where it was probably like in the third or fourth year or the end of it, where they were making these interesting games, but they were like twenty dollar games. Some would be like extremely mm. good, like or some would be. She said them twenty. Me. I mean, he said them twenty dollar games. Some would be extremely good. Some would be extremely bad. Some would be in the middle. It kind of was a grab bag, and depending on who making it, like Yu Yu Hakusho, the Dark Tournament, high quality, good, but it can only be good for so long, just because it was limited. Kind of also like a uh, Ultimate Muscle, extremely good, beautiful running, but it get kind of old fast. So that's kind of like what Bog reminds me of. Like you always can go back to it, but do you have to anytime soon? Probably not. Like. If they mm. drop Bog, Bog would be great better if they drop it all at once. That's never going to happen in a pure Japanese production release schedule. But Bog is something I could just like, I could bench that in an hour or two minus time constraints. Like, I'm a person that if I know how to skip, like, y'all think Mike can skip. Once I figure out like, okay, I don't need this conversation, blah, blah, blah. I can cut this down to the action and to some of the key points and to the points of the and when the sword is talking and rocks no. skip skippity skip everybody you know else is pretty much irrelevant other than sir aaron because you know he got that sword school going if you get with aaron you get you get tight man i mean he should just open up a sword school because apparently he teach you one day and everybody recognizes his techniques as a coach <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ain't, ain't that my boy's technique right there he, he went to Sir Aaron's school of uh, you know, chopping and, and scooping you up. Sword defense. Bruh. All right, so almost a B minus, almost a B minus. All right, well then, all right, last, last that's, before that's growth. <laughs> yeah, before that you get, growth. before you know what I'm saying, before we bounce, I gotta get, I gotta get some word. Is there any word of the good and the old? You know what I'm about to say. The family you and I love, we all love them. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. The Forgers, tell me, tell me about Spy Family, man. Cause you know, I, you know, oh. I'm behind. I wait for that English dub. Oh man. So well, I need, I need to know what's going is, on in the streets. You you're know not what missing saying? much now, but you, I, I won't say you're missing, cause you know, 
Spy Family also works as an action spy dramedy, well not drama yet, but comedy, you know, sitcom. So we're back True. in si sitcom mode, which is okay, it's, okay. It's still like a little with funny. Anya's funny faces and stuff. Yeah, because they off the trip and they just like you know, Lloyd is being you know Twilight's being Lloyd and yours being yours. So we kind of back and firmly in Anya's world, <laughs> like Elmo's world. So her friend wanted to like, you know, her friend Becky has a crush on on Lloyd. And she was like, I'm in the area. I want to come see, you know, come hang out. AKA I want to see your daddy. Hey, I know these are like five years. Wow. It's like, yeah, it's just like funny. AKA I want to see your daddy. Like, bro, if this was like it's cute play for cutesy laughs, but in another world, this would be some old Jerry Springer type stuff, but uh, but still funny and cute. And but your has no social condition at all. So she was like, she came home. She was like, oh Becky, like you? Were you playing house with Becky? Blah blah blah. I'm like uh, like what are they doing? But it was funny, and just listening to you know Anya doing the thing when she's picking everybody's mind. She's so easy to like go along with the flow because she wants to be around, you know, good meals and stuff <laughs> and stuff. The girls like she was envisioning like if her friend was dating Lloyd in a cute way, not in no weird, creepy way. Yeah, I just want to stress that how I was coming out my mouth. She's like, oh, yeah, good food and live in a mansion and all that. She's like, I'm sorry, mama. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help um, Becky out for a moment. But Lloyd is also trying to pick her mind, just like, was like, I don't know if this is foreshadowing, but the black males are very important. They're very rich and whatever. He's like, huh. He's like, maybe I can scoop something out of her, like, just ask about her daddy's activities because maybe it'll help me with my mission because the black males might be the richest family or they're one of them. Wow. So, okay. Okay. So it's just like, all right, are we going to meet? You know, Mr. Black Bell very soon one day. I don't know. But Black Bell is like, he's like, there's no proof that they're involved in the war or they're spy or anything, but they're influential. If anything, it'll help him move around the chessboard a little bit more to get Curry favor from probably the Black Bells. Like, it can't hurt. So I like when Lloyd goes in that mode and he's just like, and then Anya would be like, oh, daddy goes into work mode so quick. <laughs> but you know say he got he got to get into his bag, man. So it's like going to his his spy bag. Even though when we're joking and having fun, any person kind of like this is where it becomes like a RPG. You you're talking to an NPC and it's like, okay, yeah, I forgot we Lloyd is on a mission, so he might need to holler at the Black Bells one day. Mm -hmm. So it's like I don't know, we don't know, but that's just like keep that in your hat. Like I keep yeah, I keep forgetting that Becky is super important. Any of these little peanut head kids are worth a <laughs> lot of money. Head kids, <laughs> Any one of these peanut head kids are worth a lot of money, especially when you remember the first season when they almost tried to like, you know, they was kidnapping them. So they was you you know, they was doing Who stuff. Does refer to all these kids as peanut head kids. <laughs> It's like they, you know, they be talking. All these little peanut head kids. You know, they just be talking. You know, they. It's cute because they're like super smart, mini adults, but they're still kids, so they don't. They can articulate themselves, but they don't quite understand the levels of things, and they're also sheltered, rich kids, so they really are in a bubble. Whereas their life can be in danger at any moment because of all the. Yeah, they snatching folks out here. <laughs> you know, they gotta they hide your kids folks. and your wife, boy. I mean, which it's crazy because it's like the world is so messed up. The secret police are so dirty, but they yet we still have all these ridiculous factions in this country. It's like who's the worst and who's the who's really the worst? Like the secret police, they might as well be Nazis. I mean, basically, we we know that. Yeah, because you can get, you can get disappeared the, the, quick. Yeah, they can disappear you real quick. But the people that they might need to get rid of are kind of just as bad or worse. So I can't, you know, I still ain't down with no Nazi stuff. Like, they got the red scare, basically. And they can just call, like, people like, I'll call the secret police on you. Like, you don't need to play with me. If we live in that country, 
and the secret police ain't around and you say you're gonna call the secret police on me i need to throw hands on yeah. and maybe yeah. not too much because hands, man, I, hands go get thrown because it's like don't play with my life out here you might yeah, as well just cause, you know i might not say, <laughs> ever see my family again like they might not just kill me they might actually capture me and torture me you know and just tell me just find out what i know because again i guess shout out to i can't believe i'm gonna do this to to, to yuri give him one little speck of, of props when uh the writer first of all the writer crazy like bruh you gotta move a whole lot more secretive if you out here writing propaganda for money against your own country in that country you're always like look man i'm gonna take care of your dad but you 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 done son like you will never be seen again <laughs> like you are ever at, at best you're gonna be in jail forever worse we're going to kill you you know without man, him I... <laughs> what he's like i'll make sure he like but i i give yuri that he's like your dad didn't do anything it's on you he's like you can go quietly don't 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 let the last image of his son be a rough one you know what i'm saying like i, I appreciate old boy like yeah my life is over bye dad you know yada yada and he went out with dignity so I give Yuri that as a man that he okay. didn't probably know his dad. He, you know, they were war-torn orphans because wherever they grew up and all that. And I think a, that showed a little bit of humanity in him. So for them to even give, for them to, they pin game to even been strong enough for me to give this sicko a point. That shows you how, how quality this show is. So that's just that's a few episodes ago. I really did like that episode because that just shows you how people are affected by this this Cold War slash spy game going on. It ain't all fun and games, you know. People, families are being torn up. People are being murdered. People are Dang. being snatched up. <laughs> you know, so true. Because we, you know, we we have a lot of you know fun with our family, but you know it's real out there. Yeah, once you get into Yuri's world, he's about that action. You know, whether it's psychological, mentally, snatch you up, doing the political stuff, ambassadorship, you know, in air quotations. You know, there's nothing this guy wouldn't do to move up the ladder to feel like he's protecting his country for his sister, who is is just as bad as he is in a way. You know, she doesn't mean it, but she gets the job done, too. Now, I don't know. I just want to know one day if they're both on the same side or if both of their factions work together, but I got a feeling they don't. I feel like yours agency okay. is so secretive and weird. Almost like some Mr. and Mrs. Smith type action. Because it's like the secret police, that's the military. So that is, they out in front other than the, you know, the police that you don't see. But they do have their regalia on so it's like they report to somebody. So they always are reporting to somebody. I, I don't know about yours agency. Yeah, I just don't. I don't, you know, an old dude out there gardening, but he can still handle himself and he taught your. So you know he's a killer. So I don't know, man. I, I just want to know more about all these different factions, especially what's going on with your. And of course, I know eventually we'll find out more about Twilight. Um, maybe but maybe they don't know about themselves like i don't know like twilight may not even remember who the hell he is like talk about because mm. the little images they show of each other i guess he was probably under 10 when he probably had to start living on his own so it's pretty much like he ain't really have no lights outside of running around learning to be a war survivor slash spy so like I said, the question is, when will Twilight end and where will Lloyd Forger really begin? I guess that's as more as that takes place and he's finding out, I want to be Lloyd Forger. Or is he allowed to be Lloyd Forger? But that's that's me going way down the line. Comedy ensues. Anya's funny. Becky's funny. It is funny as hell. <laughs> I just, you know, you can't go wrong. Like, I, 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 I this has now become something that you know, I don't. I hate the term beginner anime or this and that. It's more like I rather use the term anime that's easy to understand. Like we stop with that beginner anime garbage. 
Like, it's so stupid. You start at any anime that you understand. Which yeah, you whatever, know. whatever catches but, your eye, that's your beginner anime. Whatever floats your boat. Like, there's no, oh, this is a pure this high. Bruh, Spy Family is just as high as Attack on Titan, in my opinion. I don't care who disagree. You see, if you hear this, especially via my channel, you want to add me, go ahead and add me. I don't care. What, Spy <laughs> Family being better than uh, Attack on Titan? Because hey, it's what's better, what's better to you. Yeah, but, it but is. people be like, no, it's the greatest thing. I'm like, I tried it. I'm just like, eh. Yeah, I tried I, it. I, I think I got like 10 minutes in, and I was just like, uh, it's, not, it's that, not for me. It's not that it's not good. I can tell that it's quality well made. I don't want to absorb it. I just didn't want to absorb it. Because I'm like, it's going to make me drink, y'all. Like, it's going to make me drink. I'm going to be depressed. I'm going to look right Aaron running around. I don't necessarily want to take that ride with Aaron. And sure enough, you know, I ain't gonna, you know, go through the spoilers. You know, I ain't watch it. But after Aaron proved me right, he's a guy that I totally dislike, I totally hate. <laughs> and, and that's the end of that anime. Totally don't want to take that ride with Aaron. But you know what? I'll read about it. I'll watch clips. I could digest in like 15 minute increments of information. <laughs> I'd much rather have Spy Family in my life. So yeah, Spy Family is on another level, man. So it's definitely an anime that if you ain't got the anime, I recommend it. Try it out. I can't give it a higher, more syllable pupil of approval. How it makes me feel and how I enjoy it. A plus 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 plus. But throw in that, but throw in the C plus hero some love. If you, you know, mix in, mix in some garbage anime with your A pluses out there. Get a, get a garbage guy some love. Cause somehow they studio can make them. We can't get Zom, but the, the, the C plus guys can keep rolling. Hey, keep rolling with like <laughs> they don't even show the fight. They just show somebody laid out after. Bruh, like, they have figured they have figured it out. <laughs> They're like, all right, I must they they are counting <laughs> as they go, like save that film, save that time. Don't die animate a fight. Just know that he's about to start the motion of the punch. That dude is a scrub, he goes flying. Wow. And I mean stick form. <laughs> I mean, he does not move. He just moves. Nothing moves, but the whole body moves. <laughs> Bruh, that you know what? That's a perfect way to stop it. It's like black That's it right there. exploitation films. Nah, <laughs> bro, it had an figures, take nah, them out. It's way nah, nah. It's less animated than black exploitation film. At least they spun around. Dang. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Man, some of them edit cuts was perfect though. But I'll throw yeah. it on. Um, let me throw it to Mark Dub. Uh, good sir. Final thoughts and where can they find you? Um, final thoughts. Undead Unluck is just it, it's great, man. It's it. Um, I I had my reservations about Andy, but they they cleaning them up a little bit. Outside of that, it's yeah, it's they gotta great. spiff them up. Yeah. And um, you know, um, I still. Dibble and dabble and and uh, hundred girlfriends that really 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 like me. Double love uh, is kind of trashy though. So <laughs> warning, Will Rogers is still trashy. Nothing's changed about that, but it's entertaining trash. Um, y'all look. I'm Mark Dub in these streets. I'm Mark Dub forty four on X Twitter, Twitter X, whatever you call it. I'm Mark Dub. Um, on IG. I'm in these streets, family. Yo, man, that's all I'm saying. Go on, holla at him. All right, Coop, what up? Final thoughts? Where can they find you? So I am also still dabbling in 100 Girlfriends. Uh, I'm actually liking it again through these last few episodes. Uh, I still can't really review it. Like, it's trash, but it's high quality. Funny as hell trash. I'm still knowing. I still feel like I gotta put one pinky toe out the water because it's like, all right, they gonna. I know it's gonna be some stuff. I gotta. I gotta get out of the way. Like I don't know how many more girlfriends I can tolerate. Um, but again, they keep finding a way to make it work. Um, yeah, the last episode was fan service arama. That's all I'm gonna say. It was beyond fan service but well, they they knock it on they knock it on solve hentai <laughs> the speech oh my they, god bro, they ain't going that far 
I said soft hentai. I ain't say hentai. But they knock it on soft hentai. Oh yeah. It was a bunch of this is say hot tub. It was it was a bath scene. You know, big communal bath type of thing how they do in Japan. Dang. So you just you just you just go from there. But uh but yet they have great animation though. They don't skip on the animation on this show. Not at all. I don't know how they work out with some shows. Or who who they got money money with but the two three main girlfriends are oh, they super well animated um you know to make the gags work because you can't have a gag manga be stiff oh god that'd be terrible like i can tolerate it with fighting to some degree gag manga stiff like you just you you can cut corners in it but if it's the jokes don't land with the animation it'd be a waste of my time um Still watching other my other trash show, girlfriend, girlfriend. I am waiting for a higher quality slice of life, y'all. So judge me all you want, but I do like the comedy in between the depression. Um, <laughs> you can find me at blurred period ish uh, one gmail. Excuse me, it's not gmail. And on IG, uh, Keith Cooper on Facebook, the Blurred's Facebook page, of course on Threads. Uh, still on X, but don't really worry about me right there got one more or two more pop-ups coming up going to be at french truck saturday if you're local in baton rouge and you're listening to this please come out gonna be there early uh then i have a stop at red stick reads my friends who own a bookstore so if you like books that'll be a day to come also check out the homie lazy nerds next wednesday i won't be there but a lot of my vendor friends will be there if you're in baton rouge go to the store uh he's back kind of open because they're having some issues with the landlord but go check them out go support they're going to be open through this week too so places where you can get your last minute you know presents including myself um but yeah undead unluck is dope spy family is dope um and yeah you know i'm enjoying myself I might go back in between when we finish up some stuff and uh, watch this. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm going to just say this. I ain't going to go deep into it. I watch you, you Haka Show, live action. Uh, C plus. Uh, but chill on it. You, if you, I will say this. You said I, C plus. I was like, I'm good. And the only reason why I say C plus, some people are overhyping it, I think. And again, that's your opinion. Shout out to Cloudy McDoom. I don't know why they didn't use Smile Bomb to open up with the the world, like one of the most famous anime opening songs ever. They didn't really use it. They made it very darker than what it should be. And then they kind of did the condensed thing where they took kind of like the dark tournament arc and uh, uh, they kind of smashed all the Dagoro stuff together. Possibly going to have a season two um because it does follow some of the same beats so it's following the beats of the anime i like the fighting choreograph choreography i just don't like this as how i like the anime and it's strange because they're both kind of like you know horror based whatever but it was that perfect blend of horror martial arts and 90s kind of color to yu yu Hakusho show that make it work and it's also one of the greatest dubs ever. I like it, but I'm the best thing about this show is that it did not overstay its welcome. Quick five, like, I don't even think they were an uh, hour episode, just five episodes. But that last episode, I had problems with it. I ain't never seen much more slow. It was like, uh, what's his name from DC, the, the Snyderverse? It got really slow, really quiet multiple times and i'm like what the hell is this <laughs> so c plus y'all wow um yeah that's yeah all right if i'll just not, keep it to the i'll just keep it to the anime if you're not a yu yu haka show fan and you want to start with this do not watch that I, I hate to be that guy watch enough of the anime to get it to get the characterizations that they were going for unless you just want to watch some weird bizarre thing and you just like i don't care sure 
like I said, it don't overstay its welcome too long. That's about the best way I can review it. If somebody wants to go in a depth more review, I'll happily join them. But it really ain't that in depth. Mm. Well, when Coop don't like something, boy, he don't like it. No, I actually tolerate it. I didn't hate it, though. No. I tell you, if I don't like something, mm. that's me being polite. Like because I'm a fan of the characters. Like these are some of my all-time favorite anime characters. They got it's like best way I told somebody. You know how you got Dr. Pepper? You like, most of us like Dr. Pepper here, right? Maybe. Uh, not so, me. <laughs> okay, Barks root beer or something. Okay, fine. But let's just say you know how. But I, but I got respect for Dr. Pep. You know what I'm saying? You know how it has a distinct, strong kick, kick to your mouth, and then there's mm -hmm. Dr. Thunder, that's like oh, whispers nah. of it, <laughs> like it gives you no. This is a little bit stronger than a Dr. Thunder. Like, it's good. It's not bad. Looks okay, but I feel like. They could cast some things better. When I saw when I saw that wardrobe with that little green jacket, I was like, I don't know if this gonna hit right. Well, that's the jacket. I feel like it should have muted the colors a little bit more. And also, EA. I mean, I little... know it's the jacket, but I'm just saying it, it didn't it didn't come off in live action how I was hoping it would have came off. It's a little cosplayerish. Yeah. Between him and uh, Kurobara, but Kurobara still won me over. Just like Kurobara wins me over in the anime. So I like Kurobara. I like the girls that they had played in certain parts. EA was cool, but also too tall. Like, he ain't supposed to be that. Like, I know he anime make people ridiculously short or something if they tiny. But it's like, they could have got somebody a little bit small, like a little bit shorter. He looked, he sounded too old. Like, he's just like, man, I, I get it. He ain't human, but supposed to be kind of more a little bit more youthful this dude sound like he'd been assassinating people for decades <laughs> just like he was too stoic but he was cool but i think they, they got too cool. stoic he was too stoic karama i think they got him picks perfect right so c plus all right well hi there it is where can they find you man so again Find me on those socials I mentioned, and of course, www.blerd-ish.com. Yo, man, that's what's up. That's what's up. For me, final thoughts is <sighs> Spy Family, y'all gonna have to speed up them English dubs, man. I don't wanna be behind like that. You know what I'm saying? But you're hurting my heart. And now to you, Zom, Zom, look, y'all, man, y'all better end this season with a bang, man. Like, don't, don't, just, don't drop the ball on Christmas, all right? It comes once a year. <laughs> and undead, undead, unluck, man. Look, y'all, y'all doing it up, but y'all be. I feel like y'all speeding through some of these episodes because y'all try to get some something, something crazy jumping off. So I'm a, I'm a reserve, but I'm I'm expecting a, a good fight between these negator hunters and our I guess negation team. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. the union, but. With that said, N E I D S O U L, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, podcast, all that jazz. And until the next time that you want to go on a cruise to either beat somebody down or capture somebody or protect a woman and her child and another dude that kind of like her but ain't saying nothing yet, this is from us to you saying peace. He's irrelevant. Peace. <laughs> He's irrelevant.